All right, welcome back. So, uh, in the last video, I unboxed my Arxen roof basket, the 84-inch roof basket, and uh, I was gonna get a video of the install on Clifford, but it was kind of hectic trying to do it by myself, and uh, it was a mess. So anyway, so here's the roof basket on Clifford. Uh, like I said, on the other side, of the uh, thing here, it says Arxen, but I'm gonna put my Adventure Rango logo across that with my YouTube. Um, I got the spare tire up here. I just got that up here. I had to run and get some new ratchet straps because couldn't seem to find mine. But uh, it looks awesome. I'm digging it. I really, really like the way it looks. And uh, get you a nice side profile here. It's uh, it's not, it's not up too high. I think it looks pretty good, and uh, it doesn't make any noise. It's, I, I don't even know it's there to be honest with you. At all, it's, it's super super quiet. So, uh, yeah, that's the uh, that's the Arxen 84 by 39 by 6 inch roof basket. Um, it's pretty heavy duty. I can't tell if it's an optical illusion or if there's like a bow in the roof basket. I don't know if you can see it. I think you can actually. but Or if it's uh, just how it is. But unfortunately, that rail and that rail do not go any further forward or backwards. So that's where I had to mount it. Uh, the plan is to uh, take rubber, like a rubber cylinder basically and uh, you know kind of set it here underneath each corner in the front to guarantee you know no issues with bending or you know whatever so but yeah I love it and uh, I was expecting it to be troublesome to get the spare up there and it wasn't actually it was fairly easy and uh, I really like the cargo net it looks really good uh, it doesn't doesn't move around or anything it ain't gonna go anywhere because it's hooked at like you know seven no six different points so yeah, I like the Arkson roof basket. Um, I would suggest it if it's in your budget. Uh, I got it off of Amazon for $270 after tax. Yeah, $270 after tax and shipping, I think. So, and it looks really good on Clifford. And uh, now I just gotta. I want to paint the wheels black, but I'm not sure. I kind of like the uh, the alumina or the alloy look. I I'm not sure. We'll see, but um, I'm in the process of locating the mounts for the side, um, the mounts that, that go here, uh, you know, or wherever on this rail, basically, um, to mount a shovel uh, on this side, and then the other side I'm going to put an axe uh, on the back. I don't know if I'm going to mount anything back here, because it's kind of not really ergonomic um, I guess I guess that's the word I'm looking for there's there's not a lot of space to do nothing back here um, so actually what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably gonna remove this plate because uh, this plate isn't actually necessary it's literally just held there with this one little bolt um, so I'm probably gonna remove that and uh, probably mount a, um, a rollout tarp that's gonna act like a canopy basically um, you know, like, uh, I, I guess that's what you would call it as, as a canopy. But, yeah, that's going to get mounted there. Um, so that'll be cool. As you can see, there is a little bit of buckle of the uh, bottom rails here, but it's spread out, so, it you know, it'll be fine. It's not going to go anywhere. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know, it, it's a good rack. I like it so far. And, uh, over, like I said, over here I'm going to put an axe. So that'll be nice. And uh, I definitely want to definitely want to add a couple random things to it uh, I want I want to keep the front plate to put adventure angle up there but also if I remove that I could insert um, either a light bar one long light bar or I could put uh, you know the circle lights there but the only issue with running lights on the roof is uh, is you, you have to basically wire them down you know along the roof and then along the windshield right here 
and then try to get underneath the uh, you know underneath this it's it's kind of a headache so I might just leave it up there and put a venture angle there and uh, might not run roof lights I'm not sure yet we'll see but overall it's a nice rack um, and like I said it's dead quiet I, I don't even know it's up there but uh and they gave me an extra net with it uh, like I showed you guys in the unboxing video so that's cool I definitely uh, feel like I might eventually need the second net because um, I feel like I'm probably going to end up ripping this one or breaking it somehow. It seems pretty pretty strong. It doesn't seem like it'll definitely break, but I could see myself breaking it, you know. So, But uh, the rack itself is, is great. It's strong. It, it It's not going anywhere. It's solid. Um, and like I said, I want to put the rubber feet here uh, under the corners. And uh, basically, I'll attach those to the rack uh, with like a clamp style. And uh, basically, they'll just sit underneath here, you know, like so. And uh, that'll hold the front. And it won't make any noise. It'll be quiet. So, yeah, I'm digging it. Um, this is great for uh, the full-size SUVs. Um, I'm not sure how it would do on, like, an XJ. I feel like it might stick off a little bit off the front. I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, you just measure your roof and then you can tell. But uh, And then, yeah, the hatch opens. Um, there's no issues with the hatch opening. It opens right up. As you can see, there's no clearance issues there. Not even close. So, yeah, I love it. It's a nice rack. Definitely, su definitely suggest one. And, uh... It's going gonna, it's gonna to get a lot of use. Uh, it's probably going to have to get welded at some point. Because uh, I'm probably going to end up putting too much weight on it. So, we'll see. But, yeah. If you're in the market, I definitely suggest the Arkton uh, off of Amazon. So, that's me for this one. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next one.